welcome back to the nursery. Um, we still have some lovely stock um, available and some lovely colour, um, be it from foliage or be it from uh, different textures and stuff within that. Um, we have uh, some lovely uh, Centauria uh, Black Spirit um, available. Uh, these are fantastic looking plants, uh, good quality foliage and really nice to put up on the bench um, alongside some of the other uh, herbaceous you have at the moment. Helichrysum is also popular this time of the year, really lovely foliage, uh, silvery foliage and later on in the season during the winter and spring months you will get a lovely red cluster of flower, that's red jewel. We also have uh, coming on stream now at the moment is a fantastic range of uh, ferns. So we've got lovely Dixonia Antarctica there on, in a two litre pot. Also some lovely Dryopteris erythrorosa. You can see that lovely um, orange coppery colours in that foliage. And we also have some lovely Dryopteris Felix Mass here just to show you. There is um, at least 11 or 12 varieties there on the list. So do check that out. Um, very popular this time of the year. So we also have uh, some good Burgenias, uh, the Dragonfly Sakura. This is, um, and uh, this has is actually showing signs of going to start flower soon. Um, so you, uh, like lovely pale pink uh, uh, flowers on those. So they're again another good variety to consider. Eupatorum, uh, new variety we have at the moment is this particular Eupatorum rugosum chocolate. Uh, I'm assuming it's getting its lame from this lovely colouring underneath the foliage, a really uh, nice addition to our Eupatorum uh, collection. So again, another new one for us just to keep in mind. Uh, lamium as well. So I mean, in, in terms of contrast against that chocolate leaf would be something like this lamium. And you can see that really nice silvering on that. And that is beacon silver, has this lovely purple flower when it flowers during the summer. Campanulas as well, we still have a few. This is lovely genty blue, and this has a fantastic head of sort of purpley blue flower on top uh, really opens up and uh, is very very good as a pollinator so again another uh, if you're looking for foliage that will keep well over the winter months that's one to consider tropiolum um, they're looking fantastic at the moment uh, this is ken ashley this is the yellow um, version uh, this is not the red flame creeper but this is the other one it's actually tubers uh, so has will die back into tubers under in the pot um, during the winter months so that's another good one to consider um, there's a little selection of heucras, uh, the one we've selected here at the moment is lime marmalade, really good um, foliage colour at the minute, uh, bright, uh, will sort of stand out in the flower bed, so again really really uh, fantastic variety to consider. Uh, What's always popular in the nursery here, um, whenever we have them ready, would be the Echiums. And this is the Tower of Jewels, as it's known, the Echium piniana, the big, tall, blue, uh, up to two meter flower spikes. Um, again, sort of biannual, doesn't flower every year, depends on the size of the actual plant itself, um, but will flower year two and, and so forth. So do consider that one is very, very popular um, uh, once we put it on the list. Um, we still have some fantastic, uh, selection in pensament so this particular one is apple blossom and you can see that really nice pale um, pink with the white throat down the center so again very very uh, popular uh, plants and we have some uh, lovely melianthus i love this uh, honey bush uh, i like the structural foliage in the flower bed and uh, it also uh, sort of the waviness of it so that's uh, melianthus major again a good variety uh, for planting out in the garden if you want to stick with the evergreens, we're also looking at some lovely Libertia formosa. This is the white flowering Libertia green foliage, um, as you can see there from the label. And again, good strapping, strong uh, foliage and uh, good and clean. And again, will be evergreen during the winter, so will not leave your be uh, benches bare. I'm going to finish up on some of the alpines. So we have some snow in summer, Cerastium tomentosum, some lovely Dianthus. Um, look funk the the flashing lights and we also have some arabus snow cap here and uh, some allison as well so that is a uh, burgold. gold so that has the lovely yellow flowers and these um in p9s are looking very well at the minute they're really good to uh, fill out the benches uh, trays of those so again keep those in mind um, i'm going to actually I, I see i missed one here um, nearly the nicest foliage plant in terms of grasses um, this is our new Miscanthus uh, Morning Light. And just look at the lovely silver vein down the center of that. It's really, really striking. It stands out from all the green. It's really bright. Um, I don't know if that comes across on the camera there, but that is uh, Miscanthus uh, Morning Light. I think it's uh, a fantastic variety. Really narrow leaf with that bright white um, 
vein down the center and again like i said lights up the uh, against anything green so that's uh that's the few plants that we decided just to pull together for you so do um keep that in mind um it's not too late to be planting it's not too late to stop up for the autumn season so do just keep an eye on that list and 